Hello there, it's Mark here from Excel Off The Grid. In this video, we're looking at how we can prepare emails quickly in Excel just using the hyperlink function. So if you're ready, let's get started. Here you can see that we have a table with a customer, email address and overdue column. Then in cell F2, we have a dropdown. And when I select that dropdown, that changes the value in both cell F2 and also in cell F10. My BCC and my subject values are both hard coded. Now for this hyperlink function, we're going to use the mail to URL format. And I've got that here. So I'm just gonna copy this piece of text, control C, escape to get out of that. And then here in cell F14, I'll type equals hyperlink, open bracket, I'll open double quote and I'll paste that text that we previously copied. I'll then enter a comma, and then the final argument of this function is the friendly name. So I'm gonna put send reminder. So this is the text that actually appears in the cell. Now what we have to do is to replace the elements of this text string. So where I've got email in here, that's gonna come from cell F4. Then we have the subject, and that's gonna come from cell F8. Now I don't have anyone to CC, so I'll just delete that element. I do have somebody to BCC, and that is my supervisor. And then finally, we have the body. Now we haven't created this yet, but I'm just going to link down here into cell F12, and I press return. Now hopefully, when we click this, it should create an email for us, which it has, you can see it goes to Jack, BCC to my supervisor, and it has the subject of overdue account. Now let's work on this body, shall we? A key element of this is the fact that we need to use line breaks in our text. Now we can't use line breaks in the normal way. So we've got these URL encoding elements here, and I'm going to use this, I'm going to use this element here. So I'll just copy that. So every time we need a line break, I can enter that into my text. Hi space, then I want to say hi Jack, because that's the name of my customer. Then I want a line break and a line break. Your account is overdue. And a line break in there. I then want to tell them what the balance is. So balance followed by a colon. Now to tell them what their balance is, I'm going to use the text function to make sure that these numbers come out in the right format. So that's my value. And then my format is going to be hash, comma, hash, hash, naught, point, naught, naught. And then close that text function. I then want a new line break. I can say when it's due, due ASAP. Then I put a line break, a line break, kind regards, comma, line break, mark. Okay, let's close that text string. And now let's click this link again to see if it has worked. There we go, perfect. We've now got our email as well. So that is to Jack. If I change my drop down list, so it then goes to Mandy. Click that again. It should now prepare my email that goes to Mandy as well. So this is a quick way that we can prepare emails inside Excel. However, there is one big caveat and that is that the URL inside the link location argument is restricted to 255 characters, which means we can't write really long messages. But for short messages, like we've seen in this video, it's perfect. That's all for this video. If you liked it, why not check out some of our other videos where we share even more Excel goodies. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.